Okay, ever since Melody and Michael Moko opened one of our, what I call, depth of COVID shows, two years ago maybe, um, when they opened for Catherine Britt, I have been singing this girl's praises. She's an amazing songwriter, and Michael is an incredible guitarist, as you'll hear shortly. Um, after the success of her album, Two Kids in a Radio, and her Golden Guitar Award last year, we felt so lucky to have asked her to play here on the only weekend that she could come down from Queensland and do this in four months that you were booked. So we're very, very grateful and we're very, very lucky. If you haven't heard Two Kids in a Radio, there's more earworms packed into, how, how many songs are there? Twelve, Twelve songs than you've ever heard in your whole life. They just go around in my head all the time. Make sure you listen to it. Um, grab a copy. Um, you got copies of that here tonight? Yes, they're available. Off the back of that album, Melody entered the ARIA Australian Country Music Albums Chart at number one. She had three nominations at the 21 Golden Guitar Awards, All Country Album of the Year, Female Artist of the Year, and New Talent of the Year. She got the Golden Guitar for the New Talent of the Year for the song Like Hank Would, but she probably won't play that for you tonight. As if. Uh, please put your hands together for Melody and Michael Moko. Good evening. I don't normally talk before I play because I do enough talking during the show, but this felt like such an opportunity to say, hello, South Australia. My very, very favorite place in the world is South Australia. Um, I am born and bred Adelaide, and I'm forever wishing that I could come back just so that I could talk properly again and not have to say A after every sentence or tell everybody, no, I'm not from England, <laughs> from Adelaide. But what a venue to be at, the barn at Wombat Flat. It truly is special. I, when I walked in here again this afternoon, um, I just remembered it's just one of those venues that gives you goosebumps before anyone even opens their mouth. So thank you, Mike, and everybody who's involved with the barn at Wombat Flat because it's such a great venue. You need to give him a clap and yeah, give the Roberts family a clap. It's a tough gig uh, keeping a venue running, especially during COVID, so thank you for having us. I've got hold of you. 
tell if it's my baby or my family at the back making more noise. I mean, they're all... <laughs> well, it's, it's the Renmark people. Did you know that Renmark got named South Australia's most fabulous tourist town this week? <laughs> Even my daughter agrees. Um, so the last time I played here, I was pregnant with my little girl, Maisie. Um, I was still trying to hide it <coughs> and I had a tight dress on. I don't think I did a very good job of hiding it. But I'm not pregnant tonight, I'm just hiding a Suvlaki baby, so. <laughs> don't worry, I can drink the red wine, it's okay. Michael and I have been out on the road with some fabulous artists, um, mostly for the best part of this year with Troy Cassadaly and Ian Moss, which has been amazing because we play these beautiful big theatres <coughs> um, and uh, the shows actually go ahead. I mean, we, we had COVID twice, twice in like a five week period. We don't have COVID now, I promise. That's my Suvlaki cough. <laughs> But it's always really difficult doing these big shows with people like Troy Cassadaly and, and Ian Moss because, you know, you come out on the stage and, and sometimes your name's not even on the poster. Your name's not on the ticket. They're not expecting Melody Moko to walk on stage and take up half an hour of their time when really they just want to see Troy Cassadaly and Ian Moss. And I walk out on stage and I can hear the mumble in the audience, that doesn't look like Troy. 
I don't think that's Ian Moss. And then I'm like, hello everybody, I'm Melody Moko and I'm here to stand in between you and what you really want for the next half an hour. <laughs> Yay. And you know, you don't get beautiful people like Mike giving you this beautiful big spiel and saying welcome to the stage and all of that. So what a wonderful privilege to be playing a show um, that I don't have to do that. Um, you know, you can relax a little bit more when you feel like people actually want to hear you sing. <laughs> But it is the election today, so I'm very glad that you guys decided to forego sitting watching the ABC. Patiently waiting for Anthony to call the election. Is that his name? Anthony, Anthony Green. Anthony Green. <laughs> we'll keep our political views out of it, but I will say that I hope that you all voted first for the right reasons, you know, the environment, and the underprivileged and the things that actually need to be voted for. That would be what I would hope. Um, I'm going to play you guys a song from my very first album. It's called The Wreckage, and this song's called Take Me. dog at the big old moon hoping for some daylight to fix this gloom all night tonight crying crying like a baby in my bedroom hoping that your words are gonna reach me soon and make it right Things they come and things they go Round and round and fast and slow Things they fall and things they freeze Stand up tall and on their knees Take me to church, I'll pray Take all the scene away Oh, cover me up till I'm too blind to see Oh, take me Lord, I'm, I'm so sorry for the things I've said And even worse, the thoughts in my head The ones you hear See Scars and I'm sick of regret I'm sick of remembering I'd rather forget All the night Well, things they come and things they go Round and round and fast and slow Things they fall and things they freeze Stand up tall and on Take me to church, I'll pray Take all the scene away Oh, cover me up till I'm too blind to see Oh, take me Don't you scream and don't you cry Live your life like it's a lie Take me to church, I'll pray Take all the scene away Oh, and cover me up till I'm too blind to see Oh, take me Cover me up till I'm too blind to see Oh, take me Cover me up Till I'm too blind to see Oh, 
My husband, Mr. Michael Moko, on the guitar. I will point out that uh, we travelled down from Brisbane and we travelled light, just with one baby, <laughs> instead of three children, and no guitars. So we had to use what my dad um, had to offer us. And he has some fabulous guitars. This acoustic is really lovely. It's a DeGrucci and, and, and this is a really nice electric guitar, but I'm not sure about his choice in guitar straps. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm going for biker chic or cowboy chic or something. And Michael's has got like some pretty freaky looking skeletons on it. So just so you know, we, we have better fashion sense generally. <laughs> but we appreciate you, Dad. <laughs> this is a love song about my beautiful husband, Mr. Michael Moko. <clears throat> <laughs>
So my lovely husband, Michael, is a, a multi-purpose husband. I find that multi-purpose men are the best kind. <laughs> Probably multi-purpose women are also great. Multi-purpose humans. Because he can do the husband things and he can also do the guitar player things and then he can do the dad things. And, you know, you would be surprised, but he can also actually fix things and mow lawns and do all of those things. I mean, a lot of musicians, you would think, you know, they couldn't mow their lawn, but we've got a pretty schmicko lawn most of the time. So he's pretty multi-purpose. He's kind of like um, the spray and wipe. <laughs> Ajax. <laughs> he's my own regular Ajax. And I'm very appreciative of him. But I am going to sing a song now about my ex-boyfriend. I think he was a little better at mowing lawns. It's not a competition. <laughs> he was a really lovely boy. He was actually an Adelaide boy. Can he play guitar? <laughs> actually, his auntie is here tonight, so... You should all give her a clap for coming along and supporting her ex <laughs> nephew's ex-girlfriend. His name was Benjamin and we just had different paths. But, you know, different paths don't mean that you don't love someone for other reasons. So this one's for him. We were lovers till the final curtain call. You said goodbye and you promised you would call Five years later and you've never even tried I guess I never crossed your mind I still think about you when I fly to my hometown I know your number but I'm not a rich I drove past the house we used to live I guess it's harder to forget than to forgive Somewhere on a lemon tree There's your name and mine It's gonna stay there till the end of time You're not my story but you wrote a lot of lines treated you the way that I was taught I always wanted to but I kept falling short I was a wild thing who never could be tamed but I loved you in my own funny way I know it broke you when I closed the final door how you cried and left my things out on the lawn I missed your mother and I know that she missed me I bet she thinks of me on Christmas Eve Somewhere on a lemon tree there's your name and mine It's gonna stay
quiet gentleman He fixes things and he works with his hands Sometimes he reminds me a little bit of you I hope you found someone that means that much to you Somewhere on a lemon tree there's your name and mine It's gonna stay there to the end of time You're not my story but you wrote a lot of lines Wouldn't it be the woman I was meant to be Without the man that was in men for me Without the man that was in men for me Thank you. He's very multi-purpose. I say that he's kind of like on the cheese scale of things, right? Because cheeses are like all really different, yeah? They're called the same thing. They're all cheese. But like cheddar cheese is really palatable. And unless you're lactose intolerant, but just forget that bit. Cheddar cheese is really palatable and goat's cheese is like really, sometimes you want to spit it out on your plate, right? He's cheddar cheese and I'm goat's cheese. <laughs> I take a little bit of getting used to, you love me, you hate me. He's just straight up cheddar cheese. So thank you, cheddar cheese. <laughs> um, I'd love to play Go you guys. Go the cheddar. <laughs> and he speaks sometimes too. Um, I'd like to play you guys some new songs. Uh, this, this is the first time that I've been able to announce this news and it isn't actually officially announced until next week, but I just signed my very first record deal, which is a big, big thing in the world of um, music. Thank you. Um, a big thing for me, <laughs> I've been an independent artist for a really long time and I've enjoyed being independent and I've been able to, um, you know, have control over everything that I've done and that's really lovely, but I also have three children um, and you know, bills and all of those things. So having someone believe in your music and say, hey, we wanna, we wanna pay for your record and we wanna do all of these things is really fabulous. So um, as of today, I guess I'm a signed artist, yay. <laughs> um, and uh, I have a brand new record that's going to be coming out uh, probably at the end of the year. Uh, and Michael and I, we wrote the record together when we were in a pretty deep, dark place. Um, COVID was pretty nasty for us as musicians with three children. Um, we we kind of got over it, like 2020 was okay and 2021 was okay for half of it and then we got to the end of 2021 and it just didn't look like anything was going to get better and um, I definitely was in a pretty dark place for a while. And the only good thing about being super depressed is when you're a songwriter you get some really good songs. <laughs> Uh, and, and it coincided with us moving to this place to be closer to Michael's mum. And now, I'm not a snob, but I am from Adelaide, so there's a bit of snob there, right? I feel that that's a thing. And, uh, and we moved to basically the equivalent of Salisbury. <laughs> it's a place called Logan. <laughs> and... Uh, I would have said Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Manapara, maybe, I don't know. We have a really lovely house and um, we, love, we love staying inside of it most of the day. <laughs> but um, if, it's also been really great for my songwriting because there's a lot of different characters and people to write about. Um, and this song I wrote when I was feeling particularly depressed about living in the equivalent of Salisbury. I'm going completely offset list. He's really confused. <laughs> I hate 
this fucking town It's where dreams go to die And everybody wants a big house And a brand new car to drive And you said you hate your neighbors Cause their fence is too high You're gonna call up the council They're gonna give that man a fine I hope that I don't die here Please anyway It's the worst place I've ever been And it's the great Australian dream Oh, and if I'm gonna die here At least there's lots of things to buy here I'm gonna get me a big TV screen and I'll die living the Australian dream I didn't grow up with money didn't have much at all But a VT holding Commodore And a dad who hid drugs in the wall Yesterday I found out I was pregnant And that's one too many kids for me but there's no way I could pay for the abortion I'm fucked again by the patriarchy Oh, I hope that I don't die here Please, anywhere but here It's the place I've ever been And it's the great Australian dream
Thank you. I'm going to do a couple more new ones before we bang out the hits. <laughs> um, this next one I wrote about someone who used to be a really close friend of mine and, uh, and then they, they did some pretty nasty things to me. And uh, they are another country music artist. But I'm not going to tell you who they are unless you come up to the merch desk after the show and then maybe I'll sp spill the beans. This is her little revenge song. You think you're the bigger man And he'd never do wrong to a good, good woman You think she's crazy, but what does that mean? She got crazy when you got me He used to like the room now you just light his smokes Used to make him laugh Now you're going for broke Used to be the queen of the country scene Pissing in the pockets of the queen of the cream Ooh, where you gonna go when the money's all gone? She used to be ain't what she used to be. I watched you on a Memphis stage. You were lit up and shiny like a neon parade. You skipped out of college, but you skipped out of school. Look at you now, yeah, you're playing the fool. He had a baby and a pretty wife But you wanted a brand new do-over life Divorce sure sounds good in a country song And God help the woman of the man you want Ooh, where you gonna go when the money's all She used to be You're not Emmy Lou, babe And he ain't grand Sweetheart, the rodeo She used to be and what she used to be. I'm going to do one, one more. Uh new song but I am open to uh, requests and there will come a time that you can shout all of that out and I think until then we'll do our best listening and then we'll do our best request yelling there'll be a moment for a lot of request yelling Sure, yeah, okay, we can do that one. 
Michael decided to yell request on stage. <laughs> uh, sometimes songs... <laughs> Sometimes songs come about in a way that's really serious. You know, you sit down with a guitar, you're going to write a song, you know what you're going to write about, you pretty much have a bit of a melody going on. And sometimes you're sitting at your kitchen bench after six red wines and you start playing something that starts as a joke. You've been listening to a lot of, like, Jebediah and The Living End and... <laughs> And your eight-year-old son has just started playing electric guitar really loudly through his amp. And so you write something that really, <laughs> you're unsure whether it's a joke or not. You get to the end and you're like, hey, I think that's actually a song. And that was this song. And I wrote it one day after I went to the skate park in our little suburb. And I noticed that there was this real divide between the public school kids and the private school kids. The public school kids all hung out at the skate park and they were allowed to ride their bikes and, you know, after school and hang out. And the private school kids all caught this really private bus, got dropped off at their doorstep, went inside and didn't come out. <laughs> and so I wrote this little song. Um, it's called The Outskirts. Susie wants a baby but her husband wants divorce A job laying bricks and a bottle of Kahlua Private school kids catch a private bus The public school kids hanging at the skate park At the laundromat won't talk to me I drove my car to the little shop after one too many Now she thinks I don't deserve my good looking man She looks at him like a cold Christmas hand On the outskirts Way down in the neighborhood Down south where the light don't go down south where it's always called the outskirts Nobody took the skippings for the second time There's KFC packets along train line. The council doesn't mow the lawn on the median street. No civic pride, they just don't give a shit. On the outskirts, way down in the neighborhood. Down south where the light don't go. Down south where it's always called the outskirts. Where the light don't go Down south where it's always called the outskirts I'd like to buy a house anywhere but here But I screwed up my credit before I could drink beer My parents got no money, got no silver spoon so I smoke a cigarette and I howl at the moon on the outskirts Way down in the neighborhood Down south where the light don't go Down south where it's always called the outskirts Way down in the bad neighborhood Down south where the light don't go Down south where it's always called Alright, so uh, I think now might be a time to yell out requests so that I have time 
to God. <laughs> Our son has a really great joke about Nickelback, actually. He's only, he's only eight, but he's really witty and he says, um, we said to him, if a tree falls in the wood, in the woods and, and nobody's there to hear it, does it make a sound? And he said, well, that sounds like the perfect place for a Nickelback concert. <laughs> So no, we won't be playing any Nickelback. But if you have any requests of Melody Moco songs, I'm, I'm more than happy to oblige. So we're going to count to three and you guys are all going to yell them out at once and whichever ones I hear, I'll, I'll consider them, okay? One, two, three. The first one is a definite. <laughs> The second one is some obscure song I wrote at 15 that my auntie knows is the only one that will ever hear. <laughs> um, but I will play like Cankwood because, you know, it won us the golden guitar, which was really, really exciting for me because it was kind of like, if you're not a singer, I, I guess, like, you hear golden guitar and you think, you know, it's, it's just an award and it doesn't really... It's not like this big, massive thing, but for me, it really was a dream come true and something that I'd been working towards since I was about seven or eight years old. So, if you can imagine, I was about as happy as winning that golden guitar as I will be when we kick ScoMo out tonight, so. <laughs> Apparently it's been called, so if you're sad about that, we can wallow together. And if you're happy, thank you. <laughs> and I wrote this song uh, after I visited Hank Williams' gravesite in this, a little town called Montgomery in Alabama. And um, I was just amazed by not only Hank's music, but the man that he was. If you don't know anything about Hank Williams, I suggest that you go and do some research because he was just an incredible human and he had his problems. And when I left there, I thought, look, I'd really love to write a song about Hank, but I don't know what I really have in common with an old dead cowboy, <laughs> apart from maybe a drinking problem and country music. So uh, I decided this would be my drinking song. Apparently every country musician has to have one. This is mine. Twenty cigarettes to a pack and I'll never get that breath back. I'll turn my lungs to black till my heart does match. Too pretty to be in this bar, sitting here by the tip jar. Three p.m. drunks, one kind of beer. You left me just a few good years. I don't do sad good. Drink down my misery You don't do leaving nice Baby, it's cold as ice I'll tear apart your cold, cold heart Like I could South down to New Orleans Play a couple of old CDs Ones that I could sing I'd 
wear a dress from San Francisco Smoke cigarettes out the window It's another California sunset that we didn't get I'm driving, trying to forget I don't do sad good I do it like I could With a bottle of whiskey I drink down my misery You don't do leaning nights Baby, it's cold very much. Can I ask one of my lovely family members to get me some water? One that isn't baby wrangling maybe. <laughs> Thank you Mike. I do just want to take a second to, uh, to mention all of the fantastic people that made tonight possible. Um, the sound guy whose name I should remember Nick. I, I was going to say Nick and then I thought it wasn't Nick and I would have looked like a dick if I said not Nick. <laughs> Nick on sound. He's doing a fantastic job. Um, of course, the fabulous Riccaterra Wines um, and Orexi, the food truck. Thank you. And of course, um, Tim who opened. How good was Tim? Oh my God. That moment when they were down here and they were singing that song. Yeah, that's real. That's the real shit. I really enjoyed that. So um, yeah, thank you for that. Um, and Kaylin, who was out the front singing as well and serenading you guys while you had your delicious suvlaki. Um, yeah, I just, I wanna mention all of those people because without them, this would not be a show. So give them all a big clap. A huge one, a loud one. I wrote this song because growing up my mum, her favourite thing to say about me was, what are we going to do with you, child? <laughs> What's going to become of you, child? My auntie says she remembers it a little different. <laughs> But that was the, uh, the PG version. <laughs> and you know, as I got older, that kind of echoed. There was like, my teachers said, what are we gonna do with this girl? And then my boyfriend said, what are we gonna do with you, <laughs> woman? And then my children now say that. What are we gonna do with you, mum? So I wrote this song because I figure, uh, I finally found what I'm going to do with myself and that's just be a songwriter. So this one's called Mama. Yeah, is that the right key? Yeah. 
got a dollar left And I borrowed money for my cigarettes The phone keeps ringing, no caller ID All the money I owe is catching up with me I'll never own a house or move place to place Not week to week, live day to day I didn't choose the game, well the game chose me And my mama keeps asking what to do with me Brother keeps asking when I'll get a real job I drove 17 hours for a hundred bucks and No one really cares about the songs I write But they sure do care what I post online I never own a house or move place to place, not week to week, live day to day. I didn't choose the game, well the game chose me. And my mama keeps asking what to do with me. had a brand new single come out yesterday. Did anybody catch the film clip yet? A few of you did. It featured um, some pretty interesting looking Barbie dolls. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet on YouTube, I highly recommend that if you like a little bit of Barbie kissing action, the Barbies kissing each other, not me kissing the Barbies, then I highly recommend that you check it out uh, but um, I wrote this one because living life as a mother and also a musician, they're not really two things that go together all that well. You know, gigs are late at night and touring is really hard work and children tend to be awake <laughs> all night if you bring them to a gig and children are hard work. But I just want to say that I think regardless of what you do when you're a mother, it's never an easy thing, whether you stay at home, whether you go to work, whether your kids are all grown up, or whether, you know, you don't have kids and you've just got a mother yourself. Mothers work really hard. So um, I just want to give my praise to all the mothers out there, especially my mum who's putting my baby to sleep right now. <laughs> this one's called Save Me Rock and Roll and I really hope that one day it does.
keep feeling like there's something that I miss You can't stop progress That's what the man does say I've never tried but still he's standing in my way The bank's still calling My rent's still due I'm still trying to see the good in what I do Got me good, I'm losing my control One more time, save me rock and roll Six straight hours Tonight I'll play for just the room and the lukewarm shower It's a poet's curse to have the words inside your head I'll keep on singing while someone puts my kids to bed Thanks still calling still true I'm still trying to see the good in what I do you got me good I'm losing my control one more time save me rock and roll I actually want to sing a song for my good friend Dale, who is uh, in the audience. And I wrote this song because I don't know about you, but I like, I like all of the bad things in life just a little bit too much. I, and we all have them, right? It doesn't matter like what your vice is, there's something that you like a little bit too much, whether it be 27 cups of tea after 9 p.m. Three bottles of red wine on a Tuesday night. Or, you know, 
in some people's case, a little, a little smoke. And I've got a pretty addictive personality. I come from a long line of addicted people. So I made a decision pretty young that I was going to be moderate with my intake on everything except carbohydrates. But this is my message for you, that everything in moderation is, is good. This is called Never Get High. in moderation. All the 
this doubt in my mind Thinking all of the time Don't know how to express myself What I'm feeling inside Is too easy to hide So nobody knows who I am I might come off as cold not a side to behold You know everybody loves a show And I don't fit the mold You might think that I'm gold But I'm not as strong as you think When the lights go down and there's no one else around When the show ends, everything's coming up roses Put me up on a stand cause I'm a girl in Think you know what I'm all about Well the joke's on you Cause you don't have a clue To be honest, I'm wondering too I'll keep it up I'll keep on feeling Lights go down and there's no one else around When the show ends, everything's coming up Change my colors from red to blue. I think I might be a little much for you if I'm a little much for me too. I'll keep it up. I'll keep on feeling up the cup I'll give you all of me at least who I pretend to be when the lights go down and there's no And the show ends Everything's coming up roses When the show ends Everything's coming up roses I think we have time for a couple more. <clears throat> Is that right, Mike? Excellent. I would actually like my beautiful husband to sing a song because he is a wonderful singer. And he doesn't often get a chance to uh, sing a song. He looks really excited about that too. <laughs> <coughs> it 
He doesn't show enthusiasm. I sometimes wonder if he's on the spectrum. Because <laughs> he's very uh, blank faced, but. You wonder? He's very. <laughs> Inside, he's actually dying with excitement to sing a song for you guys. Ready? We're going to cheer him on. Ready? Michael, 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 Michael. That made him feel heaps better. I'll, I'll help you, darling. I'll sing with you. Well, I think Mike really liked it when you sang, um, when you sang that song oh, last yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. So we might do that one again. Michael Moko, ladies and gentlemen. I don't do that much talking these days, these days, these days I sit and think a lot about the things I forgot to do. And all the time I had the chance to And I had a lover It's so hard to risk another These days These days So if I seem to be afraid to live the life I have made in song Oh, it's just that I've been losing so So I'll keep on moving Things are bound to be improving These days These days These days I sit on cornerstones And count the time Quarter tones to ten my friend So don't confront me with my failures I had not forgotten them Michael He's not terrible, right? I think he should sing another one. I think we've probably... If Mike wants to tell me how much time we've got left... Here he comes. Five or six hours? <laughs> 
We're still here, that's right. I might get my, we might sing another one together. Um, and this artist is, is um, cancelled, but we're going to sing this song anyway and just pretend that it was only the harmony singer that was singing this song, which was Emmylou Harris. So that makes it okay. But forget that Ryan Adams wrote the song. I pulled into Houston and I stopped in San Antonio. I passed up the station for the bus. Was trying to find me something, but I wasn't sure just what. Then I ended up with pockets full of dust. So I went on to Cleveland I ended up insane I bought a borrowed suit and learned to dance I was spending money like the way it likes to rain I ended up with pockets full of cane Here in the city, feels like things are closing in. The sun sets just my light bulb burning out. And I miss Kentucky and I miss my family. All the sweetest winds they blow across the south. My sweet Carolina What compels me to go Oh my sweet disposition May you one day carry me home 
Thanks very much. That's Michael Moko. My name's Melody Moko. It's been a bloody pleasure to be here with you guys. I've got to add a little bit of Queensland to the South Australia. A bloody pleasure. Come and say g'day after the show. I will be just outside selling merch, having one last Rick Terra Red. A big thank you to Mike and the team at the barn at Wombat Flat. Can you guys please give them a huge round of applause? Because, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for their hard work and dedication. This is for my little boy, Miller. He's probably at home playing electric guitar, but he should be sleeping. Thanks again, guys. Don't explain. It's really not your style I've had some fun You really made me smile Don't look so serious It doesn't suit your face Don't explain How to use your hands But you don't have Great attention span Don't apologize Or drop your eyes Don't explain I've seen them come, I've seen them go Boys like you, they're gangster highs, they're dreamy lows Boys like you, ooh, ooh. I, I Thank you very much. 
I'm Melody Marco. Thank you. How good was that? I mean, I, I just, the, the first criteria for getting a job here is whether or not I like to listen to you. You know, like there was no question. And uh, Mossy just rang and he wants to open for you next time you're back here. <laughs> so look, if you, have, you know the George Strait song, Write This Down? Yes. Yeah. Write this friggin' down, okay? Um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here because I've only heard three songs from the new album. Great. Um, it's going to get nomination for album of the year, and we'll just see what happens after that. Yeah. Write that down. <laughs> Love you.